Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is lesson 2.3 at electricalexamcoach.com. Today we're going to be learning about fixed appliances and how they work into a whole house load calculation. Fixed appliances include things like dishwashers in this picture, but it also includes things like garbage disposals, water heaters, central vacuum systems, and microwaves, and pretty much any other appliance once it's fixed. You'll notice in this bottom right-hand picture that there's two microwaves. One is not fixed, and the other one is fixed. And when you fix it to the wall or fix it so it can't move, either with plumbing or mechanical vents or anything else, it now becomes a fixed appliance. And there's a special way that they calculate them when doing a whole home load calculation. What it does not include is it does not include dryers or ranges. We're actually going to deal with those separately. So this includes all other fixed appliances except for dryers and ranges. Let's get to it. Before we dive into the calculations, let's learn about demand factors. We're going to be using them for the rest of the program. A demand factor is a multiplier that the code will use to decrease or increase the total calculated demand. The question is, will they use all four of these appliances at the same time? And the answer is no. So the code makers have made it so we can reduce the overall demand. Instead of just counting them watt for watt, they've made some multipliers that allows us to reduce the demand that we calculate. And remember, if we have less amps, we could have a smaller service. If we have smaller service, we could have smaller pipe, smaller wire, and a smaller overall cost of the job. The small appliance 75% rule works like this. Where four or more appliances are fixed in place, you can apply a 75% demand factor to the total calculated load of the appliances. I do want to note again that this excludes dryers and ranges. We're going to learn how to calculate those separately later in the program. So let's imagine that we have these appliances. And the question is, how do we calculate them all together to turn it into amps and later size our service, which sizes our wire and our pipe? What we're going to do first is find our total connected load. So we're going to go ahead and total all these up, and that equals 6,800. Then we're going to stop and check for demand factors. Step one in all load calculations is to get the total connected load. Then we're going to check for demand factors. And in this case, we can apply the four or more 75% rule. We take 6,800 multiplied by 0.75, and that gives us a new reduced load of 5,100 watts. And that's what we would take and add to our whole home load calculation. How many VAs would you calculate for a single family dwelling that has the following appliances? A 4200 VA water heater, a 1000 VA disposal, and an 1100 VA dishwasher. First, we're going to find the total connected load. We total all that up. It equals 6300 VAs. Now, we check for demand factors. In this case, we only have three appliances, so the 475% rule does not apply, and all we have to do is take our total. I do want to note that one of the four choices was as if you had incorrectly applied the 75% rule. In this case, because we only have three, we don't apply any demand factor at all, and we take the total connected load at 6,300. Great job. How many VAs would you calculate for a single family dwelling in Dallas, Texas that has the following appliances? A 4,200 VA main water heater, a 3500 VA additional water heater for the basement, a 1000 VA disposal, and an 1100 VA dishwasher. First, we're going to find our total connected load. We take and total it up, and it equals 9800. Now, we check for demand factors. Sure enough, we have four or more fixed appliances, so we can apply the 75% rule. We take 9800 multiplied by 0.75. That gives us a new reduced load of 7,350 VAs. I want to note that if you look at option B, it was 9,800, as if you didn't apply the 75% rule. You got to be careful. Oftentimes, they'll have one of the answers be as if you missed or added one of the steps that you shouldn't have. But you've been grinding. You're going to get it. I know you can do it. And we're going to select C. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, that's it for lesson two. You can head over to electricalexamcoach.com to unlock the pro version and all of the quizzes and practice tests. 